I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. Welcome. We're just gonna sit on the floor because I don't know where else to go. This feels super weird. I feel like I'm talking to myself, but I guess I am. I'm starting a YouTube channel. So I thought. <laughs> Why not? It's mostly for selfish purposes to keep my mind off things and stuff. Let's talk about why I'm here and why I'm doing this. Or actually, let's back up. So I quit my 9 to 5. I quit my 9 to 5 job that I went to school for five years for. I blew $30,000, mostly in loans, that I'm still paying back, just to realize that I should have done a trade. I was working in a marketing firm doing research and it got to a point where it was a bad environment. I could feel myself convincing that I liked the job when in reality I hated it. It was sucking the soul out of my body. It got to the point that I was doing interviews to get out of the place thinking it was just the place, the company. And during the interviews, I was, I was like, am I convincing myself that I want this job or am I convincing them? It was mostly trying to convince myself. I was so miserable, I was going home crying every day, thinking how am I going to get out of this mess, and I just quit, I had no plan, zero plan, nothing, no savings, okay maybe I had a little bit of savings, but it was like a thousand dollars, it wasn't going to get me far, I even have a video of me saying that I quit my job, not knowing that I have a plan, just to look back on. So if I can find that, I'm gonna show you. Cause it's pathetic, but it's kind of cool to look back on. It is August 13th, 2020. I'm a week in to my two week notice. I got no plan. Pretty much don't have any savings. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. But I know I'm not gonna do the nine to five. After some conversations with my family and my dad, he recommended that I maybe look into a trade since my whole family's in the trade. And I feel like this is where girls, smaller girls, only think like a trade. I can't do that. I'm little. I'm five feet tall. 95 pounds. Maybe 100 on a good day. But I was like, hey, let's just, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and I'm gonna look into it. And after so much research, I decided maybe electric. My cousins are electricians, so I went with them for a couple weeks or a week to kind of feel it out, see if I can do it, see if I can handle it. And I accidentally fell in love. I was, I've never been so happy during that one week. I think the hardest part was knowing I didn't want to go to school and knowing how hard it was to get into the union. And I knew I was taking a big leap of faith. So after quitting my job, two weeks later, I applied to the union. They have a pre-apprenticeship program. Um, it's 16 weeks, 10 in the classroom, six, or vice, I don't know, something like that. But basically, you go into this really short pre-apprenticeship program. You don't get paid during the school portion or the class portion, but you get paid during the placement portion. It's minimum wage, but you still get paid. So I applied to it online. Um, this was two weeks after I quit my job. I want to say it was like a month into quitting my job. I got an email saying that they invited me in for the second part and I could feel like I remember sitting on the couch with my mom wanting to cry like I could feel the tears my eyes of tearing up I was so happy I was so excited because I didn't have a plan I had nothing so I get the second round and it's it was pretty much an interview another aptitude test um no calculator and I'm not the best math without a calculator but here we are and physical so I go through that process um, 
and I'm like, pray, I show up. I think there was about 200 applicants. They were at the time it was COVID and they were doing sections. I was probably one of three girls in my group. And I was like, here goes nothing. Here we go. Fast forward a month or so, maybe it was a month. And I get the email that I got in. I, tears of joy, tears of joy. So basically I finished that program. They did all the essentials like working at Heights, Wemis, all that classroom stuff. There's tickets that you need to even get a job in the union. And from there, I worked at a local company. I had to drive an hour every day. I'm still driving an hour every day, but I mean, it's so different when you love your job. It doesn't feel like work. So yes, an hour sucks. Some days I hate my life, but most days it's not even comparable to the situation I was in before. I wanted to start this channel in hopes that they kind of record my journey and what I'm struggling with and what I love. Stay tuned for some more videos.